The Sunshine State is about to become the solar state, with Queensland to welcome six new solar farms within 12 months. They'll be based in regional towns and generate enough energy for more than 100,000 homes. Lauren Day has more. Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk says the state is heading towards a solar jobs bonanza, announcing the government is heavily subsidising six new solar farm projects. Queensland now becomes the solar capital of Australia. Based at Whit Sunday, Kidston, Oakey, Longreach, Darling Downs and Collinsville, the farms will create 500 jobs and power 120,000 homes. This will have no impact whatsoever on electricity prices. It will increase the number of people generating uh, and supplying electricity. The government says it's acting on climate change while also propelling Queensland to a large-scale renewable energy state. This is the start of a brand new industry here in Queensland. The sun is also shining on the state's economy. After a two and a half year slump, Queensland had 0.7% growth in the past three months. It represents a milestone. We have undoubtedly turned a corner. These are the figures that count. These are the figures and it sends a very clear message. It doesn't make up for the last 12 months. And what we've seen the last 12 months is a 1.2% drop in state final demand. That drop amounted to a $4 billion contraction. But the Chamber of Commerce is warning for growth to continue. Queenslanders will have to pay more tax. It's not time yet to, uh, to pop the champagne corks. In the solar industry, though, it might be. Lauren Day, 10 Eyewitness News.